the following will definitely plummet my ESG score here, guys. Uh, which way? Which one do you like? Do you guys like number two here? This is number two. Or do you guys like number one? No. Yay. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Just like the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Alright, let's get to the content. Wait for the climax. Boo boo. Roll You it. know, one of the best things about video games is that they allow us to transcend the petty limitations of the real world, creating yeah. fantastical landscapes that defy logic, terrifying monsters, awe-inspiring wonders, and, and iconic characters bound only by the limitations of the human imagination. But? It truly is the very purest form of creativity. Unless, of course, you happen to be a Western game developer, in which case you're a- Yo, okay, which game is that from? This gotta- okay, of course, uh, this game is 100% made by, like, Japan or, like, somebody in the East, right? But what- what's the name of this game? Escapist Fantasy Entertainment absolutely has oh to God. reflect the world we live in today. <laughs> the world we live in today. The Holy crap! Yo, Spider-Man 2, I talk so much about that, but, like, Holy crap! And today, dude. the world we live. Look at that chin! Holy crap! Though, when you pause it and when you like really see the agenda that's been pushed down, and then you look at it with a new lens, it's live horrible. Today. The world we live the in world today. We live the in world today. we live in today. You've probably noticed that there's been a bit of a shift in the portrayal of video game characters in recent years, you think? particularly the female ones. <laughs> a process that probably has a far more technical name, but which a simple man like oh. myself can best describe as uglification. Damn. It's like gaming is somehow de-evolving even as technology and production costs rise to astronomical levels, producing characters that look less human and more physically repulsive with each new release. A ruined and terrible form of life. I mean, Jesus, look at the Holy state of crap. it. I don't think anyone wants to go on an adventure with this girl. I, I remember when they first revealed that the backlash was kind of low-key, was kind of crazy, but it wasn't too crazy. I feel like that now everybody's talking about it, and even you'll probably see me talk about it a lot more than usual as well, because it's like, this is... Uh, this has overtaken gaming right now. This is what these psychics are talking about. Everybody's talking about it right now because they are low key, not even low key, what am I even saying? They are high key. They are literally doing it. It is as real as those UFOs flying above your head, bruh. Like, th this is this crap is really coming in gaming. Every game is getting this crap, and it's like they're saying this is a female. Nah, bro, this is, this is a man. This is a biological man, bro. Flat chest, yeah, like the video if you want, no flat chest, dislike the video if you want flat chest like that, Brett, come on bro, like why y'all doing, why y'all doing this crap bro, like, oh. A quick glance at your average AAA development page is like taking Why? a walk down your average high street in Scotland. The faces you see vaguely correspond to your understanding of what human beings Why? look like, but the features, proportions, and arrangements are so far off that you're left with a disturbingly intense- And, and, and it's like, it's not just once in a blue moon kind of situation, it's happening so much in literally every western game that people are making like collage right now <laughs> everybody's making collage and you see the the agenda being pushed right now they're like defeminize defeminization of female characters is real man as much as the demasculine or emasculate yeah they're emasculating characters the only thing i'm worried about here is gta 6 here guys i really hope they do not emasculate jason in gta 6 guys like i, I really Surge hope they to don't get out of there as quickly as possible and never look back. And it's interesting to note that this phenomenon oh, no. seems to be confined to one half of the population only, almost like it's intentional or something. The problem seems to have been bubbling away for a while now, but like an explosive diuretic fart, it could only be held back for so long before oh, it no. made its violent entry into the world, destroying a pair of your best Calvin Kleins in the process. Uh -oh. And the explosive release finally came with- Oh no, they press R2 though. Oh man. Guys, uh, okay, so the walkie's gonna melt down, guys. Walkie meltdown coming in three, two, one. The advent of the sweet baby debacle, which has Damn. shed light on a lot of things that Western <laughs> game developers probably would have rather kept. Man, holy crap! Dude, look at this, bro. It's like it's one of those things, right? I I never really cared about like good-looking characters till I actually lost them and now that you see this an actual female character you're like okay what like this is looking and then obviously like we're humans where we always play the comparison game we always they tell you that comparison is a thief of joy and yeah it is but like 
You cannot stop me from comparing the two, right? So now everybody's comparing and look at that feminine jo feminine jawline. I almost said masculine there. Uh, brown on my part. Like the video for that feminine jawline, guys, or dislike if you love that masculine jawline. Decret. But there it is. All on female characters, by the way. On female characters. All the, the same. Way. And now that it's out there, it's fair game for people like me to comment on. So just like on my main channel, where I talked about the problems blighting more. I, I think I caught the feelings there, bruh. I be catching feelings, bro. Like, I played the demo, and genuinely, the demo is kind of low-key busting with the background music as well, with the anime. I, I'm not into anime, but, but like, the anime and the weeb music that they had in the background of this demo, insane. 10 out of 10, especially with that jawline. I mean, sheesh, bro. Like. Modern Hollywood movies. I figured I'd make a video series here about why modern gaming sucks. And truly, really, <laughs> where better to start with any good book than the cover? Part 1. Everyone's fucking ugly. Now, rather than just point and laugh at how ugly characters have become in recent years, let's see if we can break this one down scientifically. And that being the case, the first major problem seems to be a general rejection of femininity and female beauty in modern game development. A perfect example of this is the character yeah, yeah. model for MJ in the two Spider-Man games. Man, the way she walked, holy crap. It was like, as though Brock Lesnar was like walking to the WWE ring after he quit UFC, bro, for the first time. <laughs> This is crazy. And listen, man, uh, Spider-Man 2, I said it before, I'll say it again, that I, I did like Spider-Man 2, okay? I, I did not buy because I was actually, like, traveling around the time when it came out, and I was like, when I get back, I'll buy, but it's like, I was curious about the story, so I was like, <laughs> let me watch it on YouTube, and I ended up watching, like, the entire walkthrough on YouTube, and I did enjoy my time that way, and I did like the story, minus the woke bullcrap. I said it before, and now I'll say it again as well, minus the woke bullcrap, Spider-Man 2 was actually pretty, pretty good, but it's just that why y'all suckers did that to MJ, bro? Why y'all suckers gave her a testosterone shot? L listen, like, the MJ in the Spider-Man 1 was alright. And, and, like, listen, gamers are not demanding you, like, stripping her, like, or anything like that. Like, well, okay, fully cl clothe her up, but, like, make sure, like, it's a female. Because right now it's looking like a man right now, you know? that It's not even about, like, because these suckers think, these wokies think that we just want, like, uh, no clothes on the woman. Nah, bro, it ain't even about that, bro. It ain't even about that. We just want female characters to be looking female. That's it. Uh, I hope he shows the, the before and after because... Uh, it's the same character in the same game series made by the same dev studio, but with a radically different appearance in each one. In the first game, you can yeah. quite clearly see the facial model has all the traits commonly associated with traditional femininity. Rounded facial structure, full lip... Y yeah, l l she looked kinda odd. Uh, I wouldn't say like she was looking super attractive, but she was looking like a female and you know, nobody had a problem with it. But then it's like they change the face completely. Large eyes and a small nose. Now compare it to MJ in the second Holy. game, and well, I think you can spot the differences. This version has a large prominent chin, a wider and stronger jawline, L thinner like this. Like this. Like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lips, heavier eyebrows, and eyes that are proportionally smaller because the rest of her face is now bigger. In short, she's got a far more masculine appearance than before. Interesting. Or how about Aloy from the Aloy Horizon well, Games, yeah. a series that I actually quite enjoy. You can see in the image on the left how she looked in the original game. Not hyper feminine by any stretch because she's trying to survive in a primitive post apocalypse. Yeah, I remember like when they first revealed a lot of people were like trying to make her look kind of attractive and like put makeup on that. And there was also another argument that like this is this game is like post apocalyptic. So, uh, yeah, obviously, like, she's not gonna be wearing all, like, any of that, uh, any of the, the makeup or any, or any of the mascara, she's not gonna be trying to be strong, independent. Yeah, understandable, but it's like, you, you do a comparison side by side, and, and based on, and, and yeah, now people are talking a lot more about this, not just because it's happening in one or two game, it's happening everywhere. You know, community managers are going berserk, right, they're calling out, they're, they're being heterophobic, dead ass. They they don't like men gamers, and if you happen to be a man, uh, straight, and white, it's over for you, right? Like, that's like, yeah, if you're, if you happen to be white, a man, uh, and straight, it's Joe over. I'm, I'm a brown man, but I'm a man. I'm straight. So it's kind of Joe over for me too, guys. Uh, it's not like it's not Joe over. It's Joe over for me too. But it's like, if you're white, then it's like fully Joe over. For me, it's like, just like how we had like a full eclipse. Sometimes we have full eclipse. Other times we have uh, like partial. For me, it's like partial over. Bruh. For you, if you happen to be a white male watching this video, 
its totality. It's like Joel. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully I was able to explain it in a rational and reasonable way, but... Apocalyptic world, where cosmetics aren't exactly easy to come by, but still, she's recognizably female, with the softer facial structure typically associated with women. The image on the right, on the other hand, is so masculine that if you were to give her some facial hair, you'd basically be left with a man. And a handsome man at that. <laughs> Same deal with the main character from Star Wars oh Outlaws. Prominent chin that would make even Sergeant Slaughter jealous, a wide, strong jawline, thin Holy. lips and small eyes. Jesus, it's like these characters all rolled off the same bland assembly line. It's even more perplexing when you see what yeah. her actress looks like. Yeah, this is absolutely crazy. You look at the actress, like, sh like shoddy kind of hot though. Shoddy definitely kind of hot. And uh, you look at the, the, the masculinization version of her, that's like, come on, bruh, like, we see that bull squash, bruh, like, come on, dog, like... Like, I could go on and on with this stuff all day, but you get the basic idea. The real question, though, is why? Why are Western yeah, developers why? so against the idea of femininity and female beauty in games? I mean, if I was a cynical man, I might suggest that most game studios are infested with jealous, physically repulsive land whales who can't stand to be reminded that they've broken more mirrors than Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Loki kind of loud though. Loki kind of very loud. I mean, high key kind of loud though. Well, a little bit deeper than that. It's definitely not a technology problem, that's for sure. And, and sure, like, listen, man, as a straight male, uh, as a straight male, I love what I'm seeing. Okay, totally. All right, but but like to make an argument because I don't know what it is with these Wokies here in the West. It's like these like this thing that we just want these characters. I mean, if you give us that, we ain't complaining though. We surely ain't complaining. But it's not even about that. It's just about like, hey, if you're gonna have a female character, have her be a female. And with, with the, in the case of Star Wars, uh, right, Yalsuk has hired a female actress to, to like mocap her, to get her facial structure, uh, basically to get her looking like her from real life to game, right? You basically want to transfer her into the, the, the digital world in gaming, right? Why not get it, get the accurate version? Why? Why y'all doing that? It's not even about like clothes or no clothes. It's not even, yeah, in real life, we're having the uh, whole kind of OnlyFans degeneracy. Yeah, th that's happening as well. Uh, but in video games, it's like, nah, bro, like, it's the complete opposite. They're they're tr uh, trying to turn girls into men and men into women, uh, and that's uh, kind of like what's going on games right now. Games have been I capable of it. rendering accurate facial scans of real actors for decades at this point. I mean, look at Julia Voth from the Resident Evil remake. That game's more than 20 years old now, and the resemblance Man. is uncanny. Or Ellen Page in Beyond Two Souls, which came out in 2013. Uh, before or after? Before or after the trans uh, transition? I don't, I don't know much about her, but I believe believe that they or them, I don't know, like, uh, bruh, bruh. they transition, right? I, I think so. <laughs> uh, so, before or after? Or Hayden Panettiere from Until Dawn from 2015. Yeah. Yo, Shadi was definitely, definitely high key was hot though. Or Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk. And as for today, well, all you need to do is take a look at games like Final Fantasy Rebirth or Stellar Blade to see that we're more than capable of rendering beautiful characters on yeah. screen. No, the issue here is a creative one. But why exactly? Oh man, I'd be catching, Loki kind of catching feelings right now, but you look at that jawline, bro. And you compare this with like MJ from, from Spider-Man 2, big difference, bro. Well, big. there seems to be this weird assumption that gamers can or won't take a female character seriously if they find them physically attractive, so the only solution is to reduce or remove any element of attractiveness and sensuality, producing bland, ugly, unappealing models that nobody wants to look Dang. at. For me, this is a deeply flawed premise on two levels. One, because characters like Lara Croft, Ada Wong, Jill Valentine, Tifa Lockhart and Aerith Gainsborough are all conventionally beautiful, but they've all stood the test of time as well because they were more than just their physical appearance. Yeah. They were all genuinely interesting characters that yeah. people liked and identified with. They're and I'm not sure if I have a video out on this or not uh, about Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, right? They, they're trying to tur uh, turn Lara Croft uh, as well, guys. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and Lara Croft's character is so good as well. She's attractive and more so than that, she got a character, right? And the, 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 the franchise is also beloved. And, and it, it, there isn't like many... There aren't many games 
that are about what uh, Tomb Raider is about, right? It's about raiding, but like they are <laughs> they are actually changing that into colonial past or some bull squash like that. I should be having a video on that as Beauty well. Beauty didn't undermine that, it enhanced it. The second reason is, well, down to simple human nature. We as people generally prefer to look at physically attractive individuals. We yeah. instinctively seek out beauty, we're drawn to it, and we enjoy being around it. Why do you think so many Hollywood actors or models or pop stars are conventionally good looking? It's yeah. the same reason we yeah. don't go to art galleries to look at children's finger paintings. We want to experience something higher and better, something aspirational. I know that's a tough pill to swallow, but there yeah, it, is. it is. The truth yeah. of the matter is that nobody enjoys looking at ugly people. Yeah, we know that most of us don't- uh, I mean, look at OnlyFans. I mean, as uh, it's degenerate, right? Like, if you buy OnlyFans, you're wasting your money on that, right? Like, uh, absolutely. But but why do brothers still buy it? Because uh, beauty sells, you know? Don't look like Chris Hemsworth or Sydney Sweeney, and that's okay. We know we'll never have a body like Chris Redfield or Lara Croft, and that's okay too. Why? Because we're not narcissistic idiots who need to see ourselves reflected in everything that we see and do, or have all our hang-ups and insecurities validated by pulling everyone down to our level. Believe it or not, human beings are a lot more mature and resilient than that. The other uh, thing- I don't know about that though. <laughs> the way it's going, hey man, I don't know about that. I, I do agree though, but like, I don't know about that one though. That strikes me is that a lot of the shitty modern tropes from Hollywood are starting to spill over into the video game industry, particularly when it comes to blurring the lines between men and women. Male characters in movies and TV shows today are often depicted as neurotic, insecure, emotionally fragile, cowardly, yeah. verbose, and self-deprecating. Yeah, they're basically trying to change the gender roles, right? Like, they the one men being women and women being men's uh, men. Uh, like, bro, like, you got a man, let it, let them, let a man be a man, let a woman be a woman. Simple, bro. Like, therefore, you're gonna have a woman, therefore, you're gonna have a man. Why change a man to a woman and make her, uh, make him a man, uh, make him a woman? and make woman a man like why like why complicated like we already have a man and we already have a woman so like why complicated i, I don't know bro like generally lacking in agency it's... or the ability to assert themselves in any particular situation women on the other hand are now written to be stoic confident assertive arrogant and aggressive which yeah. are the same exact traits that were the the, the girl boss and the ones considered yeah. toxic in men they're basically trying to turn them into men or at least a warped parody of what they think masculine behavior is and i think that mentality is bleeding into gaming now as well. Female yep, characters are being redesigned to look more and more like men, because game studios incorrectly associate masculinity with strength and femininity with weakness, rather than seeing both as just being different paths to the same destination. They yeah, desperately exactly. want to create yeah. tough, independent, empowered women, because let's face it, that's pretty much the only kind of characters they're allowed to write now, and because they lack the skill and imagination to construct interesting characters with actual Damn, feminine characteristics. Yeah. Their only solution is to churn out women who look, talk, and act like the toxic men they despise so much. It's actually kind of funny when you think about it. Their yeah. own flawed worldview created a problem that they can only solve by replicating the same exact problem that they created in the first place. Yeah, that's like, that's honestly, bro, like, that's quite deep, though, actually, when you think about it, right? Uh, now it's bleeding into games as well. It, it was uh, happening for a while, like, uh, Hollywood got destroyed b because of all that bull squash. Uh, a lot of people, like, I, I constantly see people talk about this crap online, uh, and, and uh, rightfully so. I never really talked about it till, like, it started, because it's a gaming channel. I uh, never really talked about it till it started happening in gaming. No, it's coming in gaming, that's kind of like my field, that's kind of like you guys. Uh, uh, you guys also play games as well. Uh, so that's my channel, that's my niche right now. So, uh, yeah, now it's happening in gaming, and it's like, yeah, bro, like, it really coming into gaming. And I feel like that gamers are really being loud right now, rightfully so, and absolutely, if you're a gamer, you need to talk about it. I, yeah, absolutely, because now it's, it's, the, it's the beginning phase. If we let this go through, then, bro, five years from now, ten years from now, it's over, bro. Like, the ga gaming, gaming as is, it's like going downhill with microtransactions, with low effort content, with like, uh, just downgrade versions whenever they come out with the the next episode or not episode next uh like sequel of the game the the content is so downgraded it's like not even not even funny at this point right and you uh, uh, couple that with this crap i mean five years ten years from now if this keeps on going it's over guys Ace. oh my god genius 
And the thing is, who is any of this supposed to appeal to? Men certainly don't like it, because seeing their favourite characters turned into the Giga Chad meme to score social media points and court an audience that doesn't exist is yeah. irritating and depressing. Women don't seem to care much for it either, because I'm willing to bet that not many of them aspire to look like this. Or yeah. this. <laughs> or this. Yo, imagine, right? Like, you're- yeah, exactly! Like, if you're a female playing this, you don't want to be looking like that. If you look like that, no disrespect though, right? If you look like that, you're definitely gonna try to look better. Yeah, absolutely. So if you see that, I don't know, like, who is this catering to? Female gamers aren't gonna feel sad and excluded just because they've seen Ada Wong killing monsters while executing a perfect backflip in a ball gown. Instead, they're gonna see a cool, awesome, beautiful woman kicking ass and doing awesome things. Yeah. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's the whole point of playing video games, in fact. They're not supposed to reflect the real world with all its tedious, mundane problems and restrictions. They're supposed to represent something higher, something better, something more fun. They're supposed mm. to represent what we aspire to be, yeah. not what we're stuck with in our day-to-day -day lives. And the more you try to fuck with that, the more you lose sight of the very purpose of your industry. And well- Honestly, W video, bro. Like, all the points uh, that he he's uh, saying absolutely hit. Absolutely. The more your customers are going to abandon you in favor of something better. Better. Why do you think the Stellar Blade demo made such an impact? It's yeah, and honestly, like, Stellar Blade, I played, I wouldn't even try, I wouldn't even have tried. Like, I, I remember, like, when they first revealed the gameplay, it did look kind of odd, like, everybody was like, hey, you know, attractive character, this and that, and I looked at it, I was like, yeah, shoddy kind of bad, though, but am I really gonna play? Nah, I don't care about it, like, that uh, to that level. Uh, I didn't care, but then it's like, all the the Western devs are just going in this direction, in the woke uh, woke direction here. And, and now Stellar Blade is looking so good because it, it feels unique, uh, right? Like it, it's just it has garnered it, uh, its audience, it has garnered its path, and it's like a diamond in a rug kind of situation, right? It just uh, sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that I wanted to say. Uh, it, it's looking different than all the other games and uh, demo comes out word of mouth gets spread We have this woke bullcrap happening as well Controversy backlash and then it's like people saying good things about uh, stellar blade and on top it does look good What happens naturally you download the demo and guess what it's free what happens naturally you download the demo you play it and it <laughs> It's doing good right now. It's doing good right now. They try to cancel it. They're like, e -e -e -e. you know, how if you play this game, yeah, IGN France guys said that if you play this game, you're gonna beat up your wife. Women are gonna self delete. He did say that. I'm not even making this up. It's like, holy crap, bro. Because the developers were smart enough to give their customers exactly what they want a kick ass, beautiful woman in a skin tight bodysuit. And in turn, gamers saw it as a giant fuck you to all the prissy, sanctimonious, fun killing developers that oh, are slowly strangling. Well. Western gaming. And if there's one thing that gamers love doing most of all, it's saying fuck you to people who try to control yeah, and lecture yeah. them. And for now at yeah. least, Eastern developers still seem to understand that fact. That's the great thing about the free market, you see. The customers can always go elsewhere, and if you don't change course pretty soon, you might just find that out to your costs. Till now, that's a keyword. Th that's yeah. Till now, guys. This is a. Uh, this is what recently. This is what recently happened. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it or not. This is absolute insanity. Yeah, check it out. On the left, though, this video is on my second channel where I, I always talk about the second channel, right? This is where I upload UFO content, conspiracy content. If you want to check it out, uh, check it out, and I'll see you right there.